Songcast Radio. You are streaming the rock spotlight, indie music from around the world, commercial free and free to stream. My name's Joe Cleon. Our featured artist is KJ Toma from St. Louis, Missouri. So much more than just an indie rock artist. Jumping around into different genres, pop, alternative, hip hop. His music is unique, dynamic, and one of a kind. If you like what you hear, highly recommend you buy tracks on Amazon, Apple Music, put them on your phones, share them with your friends, play them in the car, stream on Spotify, SoundCloud, YouTube. Support this hardworking indie artist, KJ Toma. He is on the phone. Let's get into some conversation. KJ, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved in music. I am a plant manager of a manufacturing company. And pretty much, uh, I used to go out and uh, my wife and I out to the bars and stuff like that. And a friend of ours used to be a KJ and perform music. Well, he got ill. So what we wound up doing was he knew that I was pretty savvy around computers and stuff like that. So he wound up uh, asking me to cover his uh, karaoke gigs. So hence, uh, that's how the KJ became involved. And so I've always enjoyed performing, uh, doing little karaoke gigs and stuff like that. But that was about 2015 and so on. Well, in uh, 2017, I had so much joy and so much fun with it that I wanted to make this a wonderful, beautiful hobby. And because my desire, my love for music is just uh, is excellent. It's, uh, that's why I always had the, uh, the term, you know, a phenomenon, you know. So uh, I wind up, uh, my wife bought me a uh, little studio time and I actually did uh, created uh, music and songs, my five song EP. And then I went to the studio and uh, performed it and it was a blast. And that was in 2017. Ever since that, uh, due to my work and so on, and actually with COVID, had time to write more songs and uh, developed, I got a total of eight songs now. I'm writing a ninth one. Um, but uh, really was inspired about You Love Me was because of COVID that uh, our dad had passed away. And that was basically what the song is about. Um, about his passing, about his, uh, about the COVID, and about the uh, not being able to have a closing with uh, uh, with our own dad because his life was taken so quickly, so fastly, and uh, so that's where the, that music evolved. Enjoy it, music wise. Uh, it's really uh, uh, very self entertaining, self uh, fulfillment. Um, not my primary job, but uh, oh, would, I would love to make it my job. <laughs> and so I'm just kind of really enjoying and enjoying the free, you know, the ride of uh, freedom and uh, and to be able to express myself through music. And uh, my wife and I were just enjoying every step of the way. Here is KJ Toma. You love me, indie music, true music discovery on Songcast. I love Lift your knife like a bridge over trouble war. Small apartment, dark alley, you jail, your list goes longer. Yet you always had a place in your heart for me. Tried your best to always make me happy. While I finally realized I needed a goodbye. Helplessness, heartache, having a miserable time. Woke up and started smoking and drinking Forgetting about your troubles and not thinking Yet you always had a place in your heart for me Tried your best to always make me happy While I finally realized I needed a goodbye Helplessness, heartache, having a miserable time
always kept to yourself as your world tried to invade. Fear, depression, loneliness never goes away. Yet you always had a place in your heart for me. Tried your best to always make me happy. While I finally realized I needed a goodbye. was You Love Me by K.J. Toma, featured artist here on the Rock Spotlight, exclusively on Songcast. Let's get back into our interview with this innovative indie performer. Where do you record, at home or in a studio? At home. I actually bought a lot of equipment, and uh, I actually do all my recordings uh, here. I have a studio myself here at home because... I actually, when uh, had my studio experience through my five-song EP, I was like, man, I could do better than what these guys can do, you know? Just, it was just that way, but I'm also very uh, mechanically inclined, so to speak, and it, just by the music and the words and the, and the feeling, I actually built a studio here in my house and that's where I do all my tracks and all my songs now. Uh, I do everything here at home. The production quality is really great. Let's move on to a track called uh, Death by Suicide. Kind of reminds me of early Genesis, maybe. Tell me a little bit about how that song came together. Okay, well, that song came together because it uh, that subject is very dear because I have four children, and I have one child that's... Uh, it's scary. It's it's uh, the thing of uh, suicide with uh, the death and the, and the children that get trapped up inside with uh, 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 bullying, cyber bullying, and not only that, rape and so on. And and this song just really hits you uh, basically from home. And the music uh, that was. Uh, Total. It was just. Uh, it was just a combination, and, and basically, like a good example would be Rush with the album Twenty One Twelve. Man, they made that album because out of anger, out of frustration, and so on. That's what died by suicide was about. It's about the frustration and the uh, and the turmoil that children and kids go through uh, through their teenage years, and, and not just kids, but adults as well. But really focusing on the women who are really more affected over suicide, and the music just you can feel it and and, and the, the the power of it, you know. So. That's how that song came about. Here is Died by Suicide, K.J. Toma, featured artist on Spotlight, True Music Discovery on Songcast. <laughs>
in that song died by suicide you seem to jump between different genres there's really not one genre that can that can contain you or describe you i mean you jump between pop and alternative and rock and hip-hop um when you write a song do you have an idea like what kind of genre that song is going to fall into before you start writing it or does it just kind of spontaneously happen that's a good point uh actually i am an old school rock and roller um Meaning that uh, I, I love the, uh, the, the the power voice like Dan McCavity from Nazareth, and 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 uh, you, you know you've got your Metallica, and then you've got uh, the good soulful rock. But I, my music is so broad on the part that I uh, love experimenting different aspects, but yet I want to make sure that they blend with each other and. Really, with that song, just getting a message, I wanted to build up, kind of do like a Queen's right kind of movement, but yet then hit the power of a, a ballad such as like Nazareth or uh, Scorpions or whatever, you know, kind of mode. But, uh, and then the lyrical part of it is uh, trying to get into a pop because I want the message to really reach the younger uh, a crowd, so to speak, and such as people that are around my daughter's age, around 20, 19, 20 years old at the time, you know, and around us, it hits them by home, and they actually, that's probably their favorite song. I was just listening to Hair of the Dog the other day, and the vocal performance on that record is just freaking amazing. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> if people want to find you on social media, where can they find you? They can find me mainly on Facebook. Um, however, uh, not only through Songcast, but uh, I have my own Facebook, uh, actually two Facebooks, because 
when I originally, just to throw this out, is that when I first started, I used to not have any space. It was KJ Toma, but there was no space. Well, actually, Songcast, actually, uh, when Unseen track uh, that I uh, let out, um, they put a space between KJ and Toma, and I like that. I like that a lot. And, and so I have two Facebooks account that basically tie into one, and that is KJ Toma with a space or no space. And my, I do have a Bandcamp uh, account, SoundCloud account. Um, you can find me on Spotify. I mean, this is all stuff that Soundcast really, really helped me out. And it actually uh, moved on from there. Of course, all the places where Soundcast distributes, you can buy tracks on Amazon and Apple Music. You can stream on Spotify, on SoundCloud, on YouTube. And we really encourage people to buy some tracks, put them on their phones, share them with their friends and family, play them in the car, turn people on to great, hardworking indie artists like yourself, KJ Toma. One of the tracks I wanted to talk about got a great guitar groove that I really enjoyed was one called Unseen. Now, do you do all the tracks on this music or do you work with other people when you record these tracks? I do all the all the music. I do everything. The drums, the guitar, the, the uh, uh, organ, the synthesizers, everything. Tell me about Unseen, how that came together. Okay, Unseen was pretty much... Uh, here I am, a person, a plant manager at a manufacturing company and in St. Louis, Missouri. And what it turns out is that uh, I want to throw my name out there and don't know how to throw my name out there. Mm -hmm. And it just, it seems like uh, everything that uh, I am doing is basically uh, so hard to get any kind of recognition. It's therefore I'm unseen. Um, a lot of it is also uh, at the very beginning, I actually did something very personal to where that I'm talking about uh, growing up and so on. And, uh, and it turns out that, uh, uh, you know, I can be easily hidden not only from the world, but my own people around me as well. They don't listen. They don't look, you know. So the song kind of throws that out to where that it's like, you know, hey, I'm unseen, but I would love for the, you and the world because I got so much to say. Indie Rock from St. Louis, Missouri. We'll continue our interview with KJ Toma in just a few minutes. First of all, we're going to rock out to this one. Crank it up. Open the windows. Share it with your neighbors. This one's called Unseen KJ Toma. Indie music on Songcast. I'm on Make 
is astounding and it's overwhelming To you I am useless But I touch for your acceptance I'm a red-blooded American who works hard every day Providing for my family in every possible way I'm living the American dream while only making that speak It would be nice to catch a breath to an interview with KJ Toma. What is the scene like in St. Louis? Are you playing any gigs? How have you been dealing with COVID? Uh, and what has the St. Louis music scene been like during the pandemic? Uh, right now, the St. Louis scene is very, very shut down. Um, there's more, uh, if anything, virtual uh, things happening. But uh, especially around uh, bars and so on, there's really uh, things, a lot of rules, at least so far as St. Louis, you know, mask mandate and, and the scare and the, and the people, and rightfully so to be scared, you know. Um, it's just not hopping like it used to be. <laughs> Tell me about the song Forever and how that came together. <laughs> Forever is all about my wife. But I used to get off late at night uh, from work, and she used to be a bartender. And I used to come up and see her, and this girl was the love of my life. Uh, excellent. I was just a quiet patron just sitting on there, and she just uh, took notice eventually. <laughs> And we used to, uh, the, the song Forever is just basically from that first time that we first met and first uh, caught our eyes, you know, with each other. So uh, it, it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Here is KJ Toma and Forever, indie music from St. Louis, Missouri, true music discovery on Songcast. Dream with 
those beautiful green eyes. Sky's the limit, so come on, let us fly. Let us try. Tick tock, tick tock the time. All my woman, for you to be mine. You know what I'm talking about, bro. That's right. Tick tock, tick tock the time. All my woman, for you to be mine. You know what I'm talking about, bro. That's right. Tick tock. Tick tock time While my wallet For you to be mine You know what I'm talking about Ooh, baby, I wanna I wanna track from KJ Toma that's called Forever. KJ is a featured artist here on the Rock Spotlight exclusively on Songcast. If you like what you hear, support this hardworking indie artist buy tracks on Amazon, Apple Music, put them on your phone, play them for your friends, stream on Spotify, SoundCloud and YouTube, support the indie scene. Let's get back into our interview here with KJ Toma. In this segment, I asked him to talk about some of his musical influences. My musical influence is mainly in the classic rock uh, genre. Uh, we're talking Bob Seger. We're talking about Nazareth, Scorpions, um, Led Zeppelin, uh, but Cinderella, the glamour band, you know, Poison. Um, these are like all my like inspiration of uh, beautiful music and especially in also like Riot. Not quite a Riot, but Riot. Riot was a, like a underrated band but oh my god their music was phenomenal fire um, fire down under is one of my all-time favorite records oh god it, it sure is it's great 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 choice swords and tequila and so on yeah now let's move, it. let's move on to the acoustic track wife what uh, inspired you to do an acoustic track the acoustic track was more i um i wanted to do kind of a love ballad and what that love ballad was that I wanted to slow it down, and but then I started finding myself that I couldn't contain myself. I first started doing that and, and just uh, doing it in a slow, loving ballad way. And then towards the end of the track, uh, I had this like uh, radio head attitude where I want to just pound you with rock and roll uh, basically right at the uh, end of the song you know to say hey I'm telling you I love my wife and then uh, this is what it is I'm throwing it into your face you know <laughs> but uh, it was mainly I wanted to do a, a love ballad and I wanted to try to go from start to finish on it 
when you laugh and when you smile It makes it all worthwhile And when you hurt and when you And when you pray I will try, try to believe Just like The Father, the Son The Holy Spirit as well You are my world I love the care Togetherness we share
Okay, Jay, we really appreciate you hanging out with us. Thank you so much for the music and the conversation and being part of the Songcast family. And let's end off with the track, almost a hip-hop kind of a vibe. Again, just bouncing from genre to genre. And that's the track Tonight. What do you have to say about that yeah. one? Okay, Tonight was a lot of fun. You got to, My wife is like, okay, well, who is this about? And it, it wasn't really about anything. It was just, I happened to be just thinking, going, you know, with the kids and so on, you get in the truck, you're having a good time, you're getting high, you're drunk and so on. And whether somebody had a fight or, or, or whatever, and you being or the individual behind the wheel, they got this most powerful device that ultimately that's what happened. They, the individual got angry and was high and drunk and wind up crashing and they got thrown out of the vehicle. And what it basically is is that she's dead and he's waking up realizing, wait a minute, what just happened, you know? And then, but he couldn't live without her, even though he was angry, but he couldn't live without her. And he just ultimately basically sacrificed them right then and there. And how that came about was just basically daydreaming, you know, about how kids are and, and what they would do and have a joyful ride and how something starting so good could end such and such a tragic way. We end off with K.J. Thomas' track tonight. Thanks so much for hanging out with us, K.J. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure you buy tracks from K.J. Toma wherever you purchase digital music and support the indie scene. Once again, it's K.J. Toma tonight. Indie music, true music discovery, exclusively on Songcast.
pay the price. I survive. You pay the price. To Radio presents Spotlight, focused on bringing you the best and the latest from the Songcast Radio Network. Songcast Radio. 